Hey guys, happy Memorial Day. Today is Memorial Day. And in addition to being a special day for our country and our veterans, I want to take the time first to thank our veterans. Thank you for those of you that have paid the ultimate price. Those that are gone, um, that have fought long and hard and paid, like I said, the ultimate price with their life so that my family and I and the rest of us in this country can live free and enjoy the freedoms that we do. And for us to be available, to have the ability, not, the, not to be available, but to have the ability to be free and pursue our dreams in this great country and this great nation that we live in. And as we come, as Memorial Day marks in our country, basically the celebration and the opening of the summer, it also marks something important in business and that is that, for me at least, it's the second, it's the third quarter. We're going into the, I'm sorry, second, uh, into the third quarter of the year, June, July, August, all right? So we're going into this third quarter of the year and having been through what we've been through with COVID-19, um, I can tell you that my, I'm not on track to hit my goals this year. Life has happened with this COVID-19, however, what has happened is I have pivoted, I have adjusted, I have made changes to um, to roll and get better as the year goes on, right? So my goals had to get adjusted. I had to adjust some things as, as we're going through this transition and this new normal. And uh, I've had to adjust my business plan. I've had to adjust it the way we, the way I, uh, I thought things were going to happen. <laughs> There's a saying that says, if you want to, if you want to hear God laugh, tell him your plans, right? And uh, I had some grandiose plans. Uh, however, I am still going after my goals, but my newly adjusted goals, I had to adjust. Life happens. And that's the beauty about life, right? I was talking to my wife the other day and I said to her, I believe that for the most part, people are good. And uh, my wife doesn't believe that. She believes the opposite, which is what makes us a great, great couple, is that we have different different, different perspectives and it allows us each to grow. And uh, our, our the, the discussion was about the human, the human experience, right? We're all going through this human experience together and life is just full of surprises. Life can change in a moment's notice, right? Life can just happen to you, to me, when we least expect it. And life is all about perspective, in my, in, 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 in my opinion. Life is all about perspective. Life is about uh, improving, getting better as, um, as you go through life experiences. You know, as we go through COVID-19, I was sharing with my wife the other day, we were laying in bed and we were just talking as we often do. And I said to her, you know, this is not the first time that humankind has gone through something like this. And it probably won't be the last time. When you think about the flu pandemic, you know, those were human beings just like us hundred years ago. Those were human beings just like us. Those were our ancestors and they went through this, they survived it. And so will we, right? We, we're going through this, we are surviving it. It's just how we are going to, how are we going to adjust through this, right? What's gonna be our mindset? I can tell you that as for me, I have um, adjusted my goals. It's now half of the year. And if I don't have half of my goals, chances are I'm not gonna hit that goal. So life happened, I'm not gonna beat myself up about it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna that was out of my control. I'm gonna do what I can to control what I can. So what can I control? I can adjust my goals. I can do the things that I can do that's gonna help me get closer to my, to my new goals. And my new goals are very, are, are intertwined with the goals that I had set back in December. Anyways, I wanted to share that message as we were coming, as today is Labor Day, marks the, basically the first day of the summer for us in our country and the, and the great US of A and also marks the first day, basically the beginning of the third quarter for business, right? Just time-wise on the calendar. And man, time flies, it's years halfway through. 
and uh, how are you adjusting your goals? What are, have you thought about your goals? Have you looked at your goals? I can tell you I do. I look at my goals at least once a week. I have my the moves that I'm going to, my next 10 moves that I'm going to be doing. I look at that. I have it on a board every day here in my office. And uh, again, thank you for watching. I just wanted to share that with you give you those uh, those words of encouragement and i want to also make you aware of where are you with your goals are you are you almost there are you on your way did you have to readjust do you have to readjust if you have to readjust the time is now guys we're in the middle of the year and um, the beginning of the third quarter and it's time to readjust you know one of the things that i wanted to do one of my goals actually quarter over quarter is to increase my my net operating income for my real estate business. I wanted to double it um, quarter over quarter. And uh, we'll see what happens, right? We'll see what happens. We, we have a good shot at that. And what are your goals, right? The question is, what are your goals? What are, where are you, where are you aiming for? How are you adjusting? How are you changing with the new with life happening, with this COVID-19 thing happening, what's your mindset? What kind of questions are you asking? Who are you talking to? Are you spending time in thought? Do you look at your, do you look at your, at your goals? If not, I highly recommend that you do. Guys, thank you for watching. This is Martin Perdomo, the Elite Strategist, and I will see you soon.